Hi, it's Rob Taylor. And I'm Kim Daly. Kevin. And this is Trailer Trashers. Woo! And this week we're looking at an erotic new thriller. Yeah, really excited to review this trailer, thinking it was going to be a remake of the classic television show, Perfect Strangers. You guys are the one with Balky. I love that show. It was like 10 when it was on. It was so good. Yeah, Kim, it's Perfect Stranger Singular. Uh, yeah, yeah kind of like you've been acting towards me lately, Kevin. Okay, uh, can you blame me? Uh, time out. It's time for a clip. Everyone has secrets. Bro, wait up. Thanks. But not everyone. You'll never believe who I met online. <laughs> knows how to keep them. And his wife has no idea. You threatened to go to my wife? Answer me! Ooh, everybody has secrets. How stupid <laughs> is that? I mean, even Bruce Willis even even plugs Victoria's Secret. I mean, yeah. It's the lamest thing I've ever heard. Do, do they really think that's clever? Come I, on. I know. I'm with you. I didn't even get the whole everyone has secrets shtick. I mean, it was kind of stupid if you ask me. Oh, come on, Cam. Like, you don't have dirty linen no, in your of closet? Of course I don't. Oh, yeah, like, what about... So now that he knows, it's not a secret anymore. Great. Do okay, uh, okay, back to the trailer. It reminded me of one of those Skinamax films, you know, that used to be on late-night television. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but it does have Bruce Willis in it, you guys. And Bruce Willis still looks hot and dirty like he did in Moonlighting. That was a TV show. Kudos to Sony for bringing back the erotic thriller. I miss all those sleaze fest movies from the 80s, like um, Angel and Jade and Sliver. Ugh. Are you kidding me? No. Who needs another stupid movie about the rich and powerful boss mm. that sleeps with his secretary and then he yeah. kills her so that his wife won't find out, and then the stupid friend that goes undercover to find out the truth at any cost? I mean, it's, it's so stupid. I, you know what? That's what that slut gets for banging her boss anyway. Ooh. She knew he was married. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Well, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one. The, the screenwriter attempted to recycle a plot line that's been seen a million times before. Five, Much like the paramedics tried to do for Anna Wilson's dead body. Yeah, I agree. I've seen this plotline like a million times before, you guys, and it's much better executed in a movie called Whatever Happened to Aunt Alice, where another Oscar winner, Ruth Gordon, goes undercover to expose Geraldine Page. I think she's an Oscar nominee because she's murdering her maid. Now that's a trailer! Yeah, well, listen, just because you make it current with online chatting mm -hmm. doesn't make it original, folks. No. Although, I do have to say, uh, I can relate a little bit because there's a couple people I chat with on MySpace that uh, I wish I could just type and fix it and then go away. Let's watch a clip. Secrets are great unless you get caught, 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 caught. Oh, that was pretty salacious. <laughs> Although, okay. to find salacious. Yeah, what is, okay. God, look it up in a dictionary. It means sexy, erotic, and sizzling. But anyway, back to this. I mean, Halle Berry's starting to look like uh, Whoopi Goldberg. Oh, I mean, on. yeah, She's no, no, no I'm sorry. You know something? She, I don't know how she won an Oscar. I mean, the acting in this trailer is about on par with Catwoman. And, you know, at least that had Sharon Stone, who's like a camp fag hag. I mean, this only has Giovanni Ribisi. Rav who I wouldn't mind running into in a dark alley, even if he is a Scientologist. The lesbian dykes out there, you have Halle Berry in all these compromising positions. And for the gays and for the women, you have hot and sexy Bruce Willis in positions of power and authority. I give it three out of four trash cans and recommend seeing this film. Oh. And you know what else, guys? I am so over Kevin. Uh, first of all, you would give it three out of four. And, and she's all, not over yeah, Kevin, honey. I wish. Uh, but it's clearly geared toward, uh, you know, bitter, heartbroken women or cheesy, browbeaten guys out on date night. I mean, it, just a terrible trailer. I would never go see it. I give it one trash can. That's oh. being generous. Although, I do hear that they show Holly Berry's bush in the movie. Ew. Well, you know well, something? I know, I know you don't like that. Oh, no, 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 not at all. something for me. No. But you know something? I'm going to give it... Um, I love all that internet intrigue. It reminds me of Nights on Manhunt. And you know, I have to give it to old, that old geezer Bruce Willis. Because you know something? He's doing an erotic thriller like 20-something years after he did Color of Night. I mean, who can forget? Talk about bad 80s, 90s erotic thrillers. I mean, in this one, he's a colorblind therapist who ends up screwing some anorexic French girl. But you get to see his big and that's worth the price alone. Maybe they'll show it in this one, too. So if they do, I'll give it four trash cans. And I'll take away a trash can because I don't want to see Hit and Run Halley getting naked and having sex with anyone, man. <laughs> right on that note, Thank that about you. wraps Finally. this one up, Yay. I say. <laughs> and remember, oh. why well, see the movie when the trailer is free?